بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Today inshallah we will talk about a special lesson about special places here when you can when you uh, look to these uh, pictures the first one here from the left it's a city uh, second some uh, skyscrapers and uh, a home a river so you can conclude that it is a place to live Jazeera Farasan Reef Watch Foundation experience of a lifetime. Here it's an activity uh, in uh, Farasan Island. Studying fascinating and we have here some uh, special uh, words or the most important words. Home about photo gallery, videos, events, donate and contact. Studying fascinating coral reef animals, I will read it with you, then we will answer some important questions. Studying fascinating coral reef animals and plants in a protected area, best 10 diving holidays travel magazine, best in outdoor pursuits travel awards 2012. A conversation work expedition has been set up to study the sea life of the Farasan Islands. The expedition will take you off the coast of Jazeera, Farasan to study dolphins and the coral life. You will photograph reefs as part of a long-term scientific survey. You will watch and make videos of animal life. All this is an effort to find out more about the coral reef's life history and the range of spe species in support. MP, a driver's license is necessary to take part in this expedition. The price expedition contribution 2000. Then, after that, what's the meaning of reef? This is reef. And this is Coral. What about the fact books? The Forest and Islands are a group of coral islands that lie just off the coast of southwest Saudi Arabia in the Red Sea. The closest mainland town is Jizan. The Forest and Islands now have protected status mainly <coughs> because of their beautiful coral reefs. The islands have extensive areas of very shallow waters which are ideals for corals to grow and thrive and make the islands a paradise for drivers. The coral reefs also attract dolphins, manta rays, eels, gobbies, lionfish, anchovies, and shrimps. Above water, the land attracts migratory birds on their way to and from Europe. Here we have some questions. After these words, we want to answer it. So this is the manta ray, this is L, this is the gobby, and this is the lionfish, and shuve, and shrimp. So, after reading this article, now we will answer these uh, questions. What part of the text would you read if you wanted to find information about the Farasan Islands? So, it is the second part of the text under the words fact books. What about two? What awards has the foundation won? So, best 10 diving, Holidays Award and Best in Outdoor Pursuits Travel Award. So please, you can write it down. What do you need to have to take part in the expedition? A diving license, so we need it if we want to dive. Summarize in one sentence, what would you do 
as a member of expedition. We can say you would photograph and make videos of the coral reefs and animals. Summarize in one sentence why the Farasan Islands have protected status. They protect the, the, the coral reefs which surround the islands. What do you think the text is trying to pursue you to do? To join the expedition and pay the 2,000 donation to the foundation. These for the answers which concerning with the passage and here maybe it will be more obvious for you to check your answers from one until six. And number seven, question number seven is free for you so you can answer something personal. Now, we have here world builder, different environment. Let's see here. Here are some words to describe different environment. Classify these words as positive. So if it's something positive, you will put the plus uh, sign. If it is, it is it neutral, you will put equal. And if it is negative, you will put this minus sign. Then if you have any more, you can add it. And decide which words you would use to describe the Farasan Island. So these are the words. We will read it with each other. Then we will decide which one is minus and which one is uh, plus or neutral. Noisy, this is the first one. Noisy, this one is minus. Crowded, this one also we can say it is minus. Peaceful, if you think about peaceful, so mostly you will see that it is something positive in your life, isolated, this one, we consider it as a negative one, or positive, uh, sorry, negative, and dull, this one is negative, secluded, it is positive, and boring is negative, Industrial, this one negative. Hectic, it is positive. Calm, negative. Sorry, positive. Polluted, negative. Puzzling, neutral. Deserted, negative. Historic, neutral. Unspoiled, positive. Inhospitable, negative, and entertaining, it is neutral. You can use these words to describe the Farasan Island. So here, to check your answers, please, uh, if it is negative or positive or neutral. We have here a listening exercise. We will listen once, then we will answer it according to their location. What about the voice? So here, according to the uh, listening co or, the, or this conversation, Bassam, he is living in Kuwait, and Muhammad, he is living near Tabuk, and Rayan, 
he is living in Jeddah. Faisal, he is living in Jizan. And Dima, she is living in Riyadh. After we listen, we can conclude that this is the answer. You can find this transcript at the end of your book. Now, this is a table also, which is depend on this listening. One word each person uses to describe the town he or she lives in. So we will talk about Bassam, reason for moving, and words used to describe their town or area. Now, Bassam already it's written, one scholarship to Kaust. And for Rayan, it is historic. <coughs> so, you, word used to describe town or area. For Bassam, bustling and busy. And Muhammad, it will be got a job with the finance company and busy, crowded, word used to describe town and area. Please fill the table in your book. What about Ryan? For the reason, for reason for moving, to be near to wife's family, historic, and used to, word used to describe town, it is historic and cheap. Faisal, to work for a conversation group, and words to use to describe the area, it is beautiful and quiet, isolated. What about Dima? We will see here, to accompany her husband, and for the words, to describe the area, well planned, lots of facilities and friendly. Here, you can check your answer again in your table and write it in your book. And you can discuss these questions. What do people move? Why do people move from one town to or region to another? What do you think are the advantages of moving to another town? What are the disadvantages? Where would you like to move to in Saudi Arabia? Give reason for your answer. Okay, we can, inshallah, we will complete uh, the second lesson after, uh, after this one. Also, it's uh, connecting with this one. And thank you for everybody.